Right, so this video pretty much shows you how to clean your dirty ear pods or earphones. And you know, no matter how careful you are, you know, your ear pods will always at some point accumulate and um, wax. You know, it's just one of those things. So, you know, if you haven't got like a touch light, you know, very close to your ear pods, you wouldn't notice, you know, that there's been a build up of wax. You know, the only time that it may become apparent to yourself is when you don't get, you know, good sound, you know, out of your, your ear pods, okay? So let's cut the chase and, you know, pretty much start cleaning the, you know, the ear pod. And one technique that I found to be quite convenient is the use of um, a toothpick. So I start the cleaning process by using the sharp edge of the toothpick to take out wax that's built up, you know, around the perimeter of the edges of the um, of the earphone only. So you can see that I'm using the pick the the toothpick around the perimeter and not, you know, um, in the center or around, you know, the main mesh area. So at this stage, what I tend to do is to flick you know, the, the wax out as opposed to, you know, just rubbing, you know, the, the wax onto the mesh perimeter or, you know, using the toothpick to push the, 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 the wax in. You you don't want to be pushing the wax in, you know. You want to try as much as possible to seamlessly um, get the wax out of the out of the mesh without blocking any of the holes, uh, you know, that, that make up the mesh, okay? And that's because if you've got wax in the crevices or the perforated holes that make up the mesh, um, your, your sound, you know, from your AirPods will be blocked. You wouldn't get an audible sound or the desired rating, you know, in decibels from your AirPods. Just make sure that you're not compressing, you know, the wax, you know, from the sides of the mesh, but you're rather just sort of like, you know, flicking you know, the wax in the upwards direction without sort of like, you know, getting the, the wax pushed in, into the mesh. You know, over time, as you continue to practice, you know, you, you will find out that you're able to get the, the wax out without actually um, pushing it in to the mesh. So once we're pretty much done with t taking out the wax from the larger oblong uh, mesh, we will proceed to take out wax from the um, smaller oblong mesh, you know, on the side piece of the ear pods or earphone. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, you know, just taking out the wax from the from the perimeters of both the larger oblong mesh and the the smaller oblong um, mesh. So once we're pretty much done with taking out the ear wax from this headphone, we're going to repeat the same process for a different headphone. We're going to take out the wax from the perimeter of the um, other headphone. And should you be worried about earwax, you shouldn't really. It's it's totally unnecessary. The ear in itself is self-cleaning. Um, no routine maintenance is required, you know, to clean your ear. Your ears, you know, pretty much, you know, they do a very good job of cleaning themselves and do not need any extra care. You know, but you could clean your earwax to soften or remove the earwax from the outside of your ear canals. Ear wax is pretty much made up of dead skin cells and hair that is combined with the discharge from two different glands in your ears. So if you have a very, you know, large build up, you know, see your healthcare provider who, who might use a special instrument in like an otoscope to see if an ear wax build up is present, okay? You know, it could be wet or dry ear wax. And if you're getting, you know, shot builds up of, of wax, you know, on your ear pods, you know, um, a precursor to, to a build-up of earwax could be um, a feeling of fullness in the ear, pain in the ear, difficulty hearing, which may continue to worsen, a ringing in the ear or tinnitus or tinnitus, whichever way you'd want to pronounce it. You know, you might also have a, discharge, a feeling of itchiness in the ear, a discharge or odour coming from the ear or dizziness. You know, just make sure you check with your healthcare provider, okay? And now that we're pretty much done with the first ear headphone or ear pod, we're going to pick up the second headphone and we're going to try to um, clean, you know, the second headphones. OK, and, you know, on first visual inspection, you know, if you look at the, the you know, the headphones, it looks like you, you haven't got any build up of wax, you know, but as I bring it a lot closer and I start to clean out the perimeter of the um, ear pods, you will find out that, you know, you've got... Um, an accumulation of or, or build up of wax you know it, it sometimes you know it's it's under the radar it's not something that you can easily spot and um, you know I, I consider it to be a stealth build up of wax that 
you know, it's not inherently apparent, you know, to the naked eyes, you know, except you take a very closer look. So you can see, you know, this is a fresh pair of headphones that I'm trying to clean and you can see, you know, um, to, to the untrained eye, you'd think, you know, you haven't got any wax there and you might wonder why you're not getting any sound from your headphones. But, you know, I've started taking out, you know, wax from the perimeter of the um, of the headphone and you can see I'm, I'm pretty much getting, you know, some wet wax, you know, off the... Um, of the mesh wet ear wax comes in a range of colors you know including light yellow honey color and the orange brown whilst dry ear wax is likely to be whitish or gray in color and it's, it's quite flaky so once i'm pretty much done with getting the wax out from the perimeters of both you know the large oblong mesh and the smaller oblong mesh in them headphones the next step would be to use blue tack to um to get you know the wax you know the main area of the mesh is out so from this stage onwards what i would do is to take a piece of blue tack you know warm it up in my hands press the blue tack you know into the earbud speaker mesh and pull it out you know pretty much quickly um repeat the process until i pull out all the grime out of my ear pods or airpods or earphones so what I would do here is to roll the blue tack between my fingers and press the tack into the part of the ear pod or air pod that goes into my ears, okay? So I'll press it, press it you know, down into the um, larger oblong mesh and the smaller oblong mesh, you know, pretty quickly and, you know, um, peel it out pretty quickly. And as you can see, whenever I pull the blue tack off from, you know, either of the meshes, you know, I get, you know, a considerable amount of, of wax, you know, that, you know, sticks onto the blue tack, you know, from the mesh. So, you know, it's, it's quite um, um, efficient in, in taking out, you know, the, um, the wax, the ear wax. What you don't want is a tool that pushes the, the wax into the mesh, you know, that would just block, you know, the pores, you know, in the mesh. So this does, does a pretty much um, good job of, you know, of, of getting out, you know, the um, the ear wax, you know, by, you know, enabling, you know, the, the wax to stick onto the um, blue tack as opposed to, you know, um, blocking the pores in the mesh. So I'm pretty much going to repeat the process for, you know, all of the um, eight oblong meshes, you know, that's found in them two um, headphones that I'd be cleaning, okay? So I would pretty much um, repeat the process consistently with the blue tack till um, no um, ear wax is evident up upon visual inspection of, of the um, ear meshes. So focus you know the ear pods or the airpods you know at a very close angle um get your lighting in there and visually inspect them to make sure you haven't got you know any um sort of um, um ear wax in the mesh and you know better still if you've got a magnifying glass with with a great strength you know something that could really zoom out into the um, ear mesh you know the better you know you you probably probably be able to see deposits of earwax um, if it's still in there and you can see um, the ear pods you know are beginning to look pristine you know they're looking you know quite clean um, I'm not using a magnifying glass you know but I'm bringing it up close to um, a zoomed out camera and you know it looks um, pretty pretty good you know a magnifying glass would would help a lot better you know you'd be able to see um, what's going on in the on in there don't use a pin to try to um to get the the mesh out you could damage you know the the diaphragm or the drums you know in the um in the earphones you know your headphones pretty much consist of a diaphragm ring a voice coil a copper cap magnet frame um you know pull piece and you know an insulating material you don't want to use any sharp object that could perforate um you know the the components or sub-assembly parts that make up the assembled um, earphone. So I'm pretty much plodding and plugging along, you know, and repeating the process painstakingly, being patient, using the blue tack consistently, repeating the process up until I get all of the all of the wax out of the out of the mesh. You know, what would have been more efficient would, would have been to use, you know, a magnifying glass of, of a greater strength. But I haven't 
got that here at the moment so I've just improvised and used the magnification on my camera you can do that as well and you'd be able to um, zoom out you know to, to a certain degree to focus in on you know the wax that you've got you know embedded or you know that's clogging up you know your earbuds okay you know don't don't put your headphones in your pocket and throw it into the wash machine and you know hope you know hoping that you know that would wash your phone you might end up you know doing more harm than good to your headphones don't dry your headphones on your radiator your you know headphones will will melt you know at certain at a certain temperature you know you know to quench the need or zest you know to sanitize you know my headphones you know after i've removed all that grime you know i can kind of use isopropyl um, alcohol 99 you know 0.9 or you know 97 percent whichever one you've got is absolutely fine you know, a lot of um, electronic um, industries use it in cleaning electri electrical components and, and parts. So I'll, you know, get an earbud, you know, deep it into the isopropyl alcohol and sort of like um, um, rub it through the mesh. You know, after I'm 100% confident that I haven't got any wax there, this is just to um, to clean out the, the, um, the mesh. Isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol is preferred and um, because unlike water if you use water it just sort of like sips in you know and you know you might have sound issues you know but isopropyl alcohol pretty much evaporates almost almost immediately um whilst you know dapping it you know with a brush you know onto the um, mesh so make sure you use isopropyl alcohol after, you know when you're 100 percent confident you haven't got any wax in there you know you wouldn't have issues of you know the alcohol getting into your headphones and um, not you know and sit, sitting in there rather this will evaporate but just make sure you're not you know um, getting you know a, a quantum um, stream of um, of alcohol in there just make sure you're just dapping it a little bit and you know just sort of like you know cleaning the, the mesh area you know you're brushing it through and you're not trying to to, to bury or to to push down you know any um, resident wax that you can't see with your naked eyes you're just trying to you know, just brush it through and give it like, you know, a pristine or squeaky um, clean. So pretty much hydrogen peroxide and isopropyl alcohol um, can soften hard earwax, okay? So they pretty much do a good job of breaking up, you know, the earwax and they can evaporate, you know, that's, that's a plus for me as opposed to, you know, using water or a detergent to, to and, you know, and, you know, your regular toothbrush to, to try to get, you know, earwax off, you know, isopropyl you know, does, does just about does the job fine, okay? So pretty much from here onwards, I'm just going to use, you know, the cotton board and alcohol to clean out the mesh and, you know, um, a brush to sort of like brush out, you know, the alcohol that, you know, still sat in, in the mesh. And you can see how it looks, you know, it's looking, you know, really clean. It's a far cry from what it looked like initially prior to, uh, you know, starting the process and taking out the, the earwax doesn't look like you know, we've pushed in we've pushed through any of the any of the built up or clogged up wax ear wax you know in the in the mesh and that's i'm you know quite happy with with you know with the with the clean of that headphone so i pretty much repeat the process for the other head pieces and that's about it really so the alcohol then brush it up and um you know let it dry or let the alcohol evaporate okay so I pretty much let the AirPods or AirPods or headphones dry out, you know, let the alcohol evaporate, you know, for about, say, 20 minutes or 30 minutes, you know, or I could leave it for a couple of hours, you know, depending on how um, quickly you want to you wanna make use of your your um, head earphones. You know, the, the more time you give it, you know, to evaporate and dry it, the better. The next step would be to visually inspect, you know, the, the mesh and to see if we've still got you know any earwax clogged up in there and you can see it looks pretty decent looks pretty clean i can even begin to see you know the other components you know through the mesh or on the on on the side of of the mesh and as i flip it gently you can see shiny bits of material on the underside of of the mesh you know which means that i can you know pretty much see through the mesh as opposed to you know the um, earwax you know blocking you know the, the pores of the mesh 
And you know, fortunately in this case, I can see through the mesh. If I if I can't see through the mesh, then I'd have to you know start you know the process all over. You know, up until you know you know I'm pretty confident that you know the the mesh you know is quite clean. So you can see that it looks it looks you know good. It looks good to go. It looks excellent. I mean, I can't I can't fault it. And hopefully, um, I should get you know the desired um, decibel or traction out of my earbuds. You know, the sound should be pretty much evident as opposed to, the, you know, a drab sound or an inaudible sound emanating from the mesh of the of the earphones. I'm inspecting all four and they look they look really good. Um, you know, it's a far cry from what it was initially when I started um cleaning, you know, the the headphones. Them two headphones or them pair of headphones look look good. I can't fault them, you know. And you know, if if you want to go a step further, you know, you could use like a vacuum cleaner, you know, to to um to suck out, you know, the the leftovers. But you know, I wouldn't put it on high power. I would use it on low power. You know, if you could do without the vacuum cleaner, all 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 well and good because um eventually the um. The alcohol is going to dry dry out anyways, but if you must, you know, set set your pressure on low so that it doesn't pull, you know, components like the diaphragm and whatnot, you know, on the underside of of the mesh. So just run that through, um, you know, moderately for a short period of time as opposed to a protracted period of time. Okay, say for a minute or two minutes, and that's about it really. Um, you know, your headphones should be back to full throttle. It's always best, you know, to, to clean your headphones or your, you know, earplugs, you know, you know, saves you on, you know, time, quality and cost, you know, they, they are reusable, you know, you don't need to get, you know, brand new headphones when you can just, you know, clean out, your, you know, your, your um, old headphones, you know, pretty much save yourself, you know, some, some cost in getting a new one. So it's quite cost effective and, you know, pretty much save yourself on time as well in terms of waiting for brand new headphones, you know, as opposed to just, you know, you know, just doing due diligence or cleaning out your your already clogged clogged out um airpods okay hopefully um you know if you follow the process you should be able to salvage um you know your headphones okay don't forget to subscribe like and share helps the channel grow and hopefully catch up later goodbye